Ad Astra Abiska. Welcome to Genshin Impact and D&D Traveler. I'm Talon Striker and I'm here to guide you on this commission. Today we'll be talking about the young exorcist from Leeway, Chung Yoon. But before we continue, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button to be notified when a new video comes out. Chung Yoon, why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Chung Yoon. My family has practiced the art of exorcism in Liyue for many generations. Fate has been generous in allowing my path to cross with that of your distinguished self. Oh, no, my services are free of charge. Well, without further ado, I bring you all Chung Yun in D&D. The goals for this build are as follows. Chung Yun needs to be able to summon ice swords to strike down enemies, insane positivity for some overwhelming yang energy, and an icy facade in order to chill people with a cold shoulder as well as to shrug things off. Exorcism uses thaumaturgy and martial arts to conquer evil. There are other means to the same end, but they are not the true way. Starting out, Chung Yun's race will be a Scourge Asimar. From the day he was born, he had an insane amount of yang energy that a normal person wouldn't have had. Here he'll get a plus 2 to constitution and a plus 1 to strength thanks to Tasha's. He gets dark vision, resistance to necrotic, and radiant, can heal somebody equal to his level, can cast the light spell, and radiant consumption which lets him deal radiant damage to anyone near him and infuse his attacks with radiant damage. Heart be pure, evil be erased, mind be purged, world be... um... <sighs> I always forget that last part. For stats, we'll be going standard array. Chung Yun has a 14 in strength, because how else would he be able to wield his claymore the way he does? Dexterity is a 12. Constitution is a 15, thanks to his immense yang energy that he holds. Intelligence is a 10. Not too bad, but not the best. His wisdom is an 8, because he's really gullible. And his charisma is a 13, because how else would he be able to keep up his cool facade? <sighs> I didn't actually do anything. I just walked into that haunted house, and the problem was resolved. Do you think I should still take payment for this exorcism? Chung Yun's background is sage. He gets proficiency in arcane and history and learns the language of Sylvan and Infernal. Chung Yun comes from Li Wei, where Adepti are from, and his family has studied the supernatural for generations. We exorcists have been protectors of Li Yue since ancient times, and our techniques have been passed down from generation to generation. Purging evil is second nature to us. Chung Yun's personal characteristics are as follows. His personality traits are, I am a horribly, horribly awkward in social situations. I'm quite literally a positive person, but try to keep my emotions cold. Ideals are self-improvement. The goal of a life of study is the betterment of oneself. Bonds are, I've been searching my whole life for an answer for overcoming my condition. And flaws are, I try to keep my emotions under control or else they'll go out of control and cause chaos. Discipline is everything. Unbridled passion can have disastrous consequences. Trust me, I would know. Oh, no, 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 not from personal experience, of course. <laughs> I'm just stating my observations from what I've seen in my travels around Liyu. Starting out, Chung Yun will be a barbarian. At level 1, he gets proficiency in athletics and survival. He also gets rage and unarmored defense. Rage lets out Chung Yun's yang energy to increase his combat abilities for a duration. Chung Yun avers wearing heavy clothes to keep himself cool and thus mastered unarmored defense, which lets him add his yang energy to make it harder for people to hit him. At level 2 Barbarian, Chung Yun gets Reckless Attack and Danger Sense. Reckless Attack lets him throw aside all concern for defense to attack with fierce desperation. He can make it easier for him to hit enemies but also get hit back. Danger Sense gives Chung Yun an uncanny sense of danger when things nearby aren't as they should be, giving him an edge when he dodges away from danger. At level 3 Barbarian, Chung Yun gets access to his subclass, in this case Path of the Zealot. This gives him Divine Fury and Warrior of the Gods. Divine Fury lets him channel Yang energy as radiant damage into his weapons for strikes. And Warrior of Gods means that people don't have to spend money on him to bring him back to life. At level 4 Barbarian, Chung Yun gets an ability score increase, being a plus 1 to constitution and a plus 1 to strength, giving him an 18 in constitution and a 16 in strength. At level 5 Barbarian, Chung Yun gets extra attack and fast movement. Extra attacks let him make two attacks with one action instead of one attack. And with fast movement, Chung Yun is used to moving around in light clothing that his speed increases. We often use these materials for thaumaturgy during exorcisms. I never knew they could be used to purify one's own spirit too. 
Now Chung Yu can switch over to Warlock for the next few levels. At level 1 Warlock, he gets a subclass being the Fathomless, and the subclass gives him Tentacle of the Deeps and Gift of the Sea. Tentacle of the Deeps lets Chung Yu create a 10 foot long sword made of ice that he can command to attack something, and Gift of the Sea gives him a swim speed and the ability to breathe underwater. He also gets access to spells. Here he'll pick up two cantrips being Eldritch Blast and Frostbite, and gets the level 1 spells Armor of Agathis and Protection from Evil and Good. Eldritch Blast lets Chung Yu make a sort of Yang energy that launches itself at a target. The number of swords created increases every few levels. Frostbite lets him cause numbing frost to form on one creature to try and deal damage to it. Armor of Agathis forms a spectral frost over Chung Yu that can take some damage for him and deal cold damage back. Protection from good and evil protects the target from the supernatural. At level 2 Warlock, Chung Yun gets Eldritch Evocations. Normally he gets two, but one would be immediately replaced next level, so here he'll just pick up Eldritch Sight, which lets him see anything magical within a certain range. This is his elemental sight. He also picks up the spell Create or Destroy Water, which does what it sounds like with up to 10 gallons of water. At level 3 Warlock, Chung Yun gets a packed boon, here being packed the blade. This lets him make a weapon like a claymore out of ice that he can summon and use whenever. And with this, he picks up the improved packed weapon Eldritch Evocation. This makes his packed weapon magical and makes it easier to hit things and deals more damage. He also gets level 2 spells and picks up Mirror Image. This spell uses Mist to create 3 illusion duplicates of himself that can potentially make enemies hit one of the illusions instead of him. At level 4 Warlock, Chung Yun gets an ability score increase, being a plus 1 to Constitution and Charisma, making a Constitution a 19 and Charisma a 14. He also picks up the spell Shatter. With Shatter, a sudden loud ringing noise that sounds like ice breaking painfully intense erupts from a point that causes creatures near it to take thunder damage. At level 5 Warlock, Chung Yun gets another Eldritch Evocation and access to level 3 spells and another cantrip. The Eldritch Evocation Chung Yun will get is Tumula Vistus. Whenever he to would take damage, he can entomb himself in an ice that takes that damage instead. Chung Yun picks up the cantrip sword burst, which summons swords of yang energy that spin around him and damage anything near him. Chung Yun will also pick up the spell Remove Curse, which as it sounds lets him touch something and all curses affecting it end. As an exorcist, he knows techniques to get rid of such things. Martial arts and thaumaturgy are alike in that there are always new dimensions to explore. Thanks to your guidance, I can see myself making progress. At level 6 Warlock, Chung Yun gets Oceanic Soul and Guardian Coil. With Oceanic Soul, he gets resistance to cold damage and can understand any speech underwater and vice versa. Guardian Coil lets the Sword of Deeps defend and reduce damage for him or others if they are close to the sword. Chung Yun also picks up the spell Spirit Shroud, which lets him make an area around him cold and empowering him. This imbues his attacks with cold damage and weakens the enemies. With that last level, Chung Yun has everything he needs for his elemental skill and burst in various forms. But with that done, he goes back to Barbarian. At level 6 Barbarian, Chung Yun gets Fanatical Focus, which lets Yang Energy fuel his rage that protects him, meaning he can reroll a saving throw if he has failed it once. At level 7 Barbarian, Chung Yun gets Feral Instinct. This means his instincts are so honed that he gets advantage on initiative. He also can't be surprised when fight starts and can act normally, but only if he rages before anything else. At level 8 Barbarian, Chung Yun gets the feat Durable. This increases his constitution by 1, making it a 20, and whenever he heals during a rest, the minimum HP he gets back is 10. He's gone all the way to the Dragon Spine in a shirt and shorts and came back just fine. At level 9 Barbarian, Chung Yu gets Brutal Critical. This lets him add an additional weapon damage die when he gets a critical hit. His Yang energy sometimes leaks out even when he doesn't want it to, to cause extra damage. Never before have I fathomed such lofty heights of martial prowess. For eye and hand, man and blade to act in unity. Truly, I have been enlightened. At level 10 Barbarian, Chung Yun gets Zealous Presence. He can channel Yang energy to inspire others, giving allies advantage on attacks and saving throws for a round. Chung Yun is a loyal friend and just being around him can inspire others. At level 11 Barbarian, Chung Yun gets Relentless Rage, which can keep him fighting despite grievous wounds. If he would drop to 0 while raging, he can make a save and drop to 1 instead. Chung Yun has gone most of his life trying to overcome his condition, but in dire situations, it comes in handy. 
At level 12 Barbarian, Chung Yim gets an ability score increase. Being a plus 2 to Charisma, he's gotten a little bit better at keeping his emotions under control, despite what others might say. At level 13 Barbarian, Chung Yim gets 2 additional die for critical hits instead of 1. His Ying energy just keeps flowing from him. At level 14 Barbarian, Chung Yim's final level, he gets Rage Beyond Death. The Ying energy that fuels his rage allows him to shrug off fatal blows. While he rages, having 0 HP doesn't knock him unconscious, and he can keep fighting while taking damage regularly, but will die only if his rage ends, still has 0 HP, and failed his death saves. With all the secret arts that I have learned, my goal of banishing all evil from the world is finally in view. I will never forget how much you have done for me. Maybe now I even have what it takes to face the flames of my positive energy, and see if I can take the heat. With this, the young exorcist of Li Wei Chung Yun is done. His insane yang energy had kept him alive for this long and will continue to do so, but now comes the pros and cons for the build. Pros are Chung Yun is a frozen meat shield with how much HP he has and the ice based damage reduction as well. Even though he's a barbarian, he has some unexpected cold damage that he can do outside of raging and some while raging, and he has some utility with his spells and his class features. Cons are that Chung Yun has bad luck, meaning that he doesn't have many skill proficiencies, so he can't get super high on most skill checks. He also has an obvious issue with Ying and Yin energy, so if he rages, he can't use spells, which shuts off most of his warlock spells. And since he's a multi-class, he can't get higher level spells or features from either class. But as long as Chung Yun knows when to have a cool head or a hot head, he'll be just fine. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button to finish today's commission. And I'll see you all next time when we talk about the Dandelion Knight and acting grandmaster of Monsat's Knights of Avonius.